Love me a good historical biopic. In this case, a biopic about someone we all probably should have learned about in history class, but we did not. So now we get to see this person's life through a keyhole. Let's do it. So Chevalier is a biopic about the life of Joseph Boulogne. Musical maestro, also expert sword fighter, also marksman. You imagine something that the human body or imagination can do, and he was just good at it. A superpower. He just had a superpower that was being great at things. So I was glad they touched on him being a swordsman. It's not just like, oh, he's great at violin. There was more to it but more to it in real life than the movie actually showed, so there is that. Now this takes place circa France, 1700s, right before the French Revolution, out the gate giving credit to Kelvin Harrison Jr. as Joseph Ballon Chevalier himself. I thought it was fantastic in the role, and he generally carries the film. Yes, he does have some great supporting actors working with him, Samara Weaving being one of them. Now this movie surprised me at being about an hour and 45 minute runtime. I'm not used to that for historical musical biopics. Usually I'm, I'm used to the Amadeus. That's a quantifiable runtime Amadeus. It's usually like, how long is this movie? Uh, Amadeus, fuck. All right, let me piss first, one sec. Right, so an hour 45, it works both for this film and against in that same way that your weaknesses are your strengths just in certain situations and vice versa. Case in point, hour 45 minutes, it's generally speaking a pretty tight runtime. You're engaged for most of it. That said, this movie could have and should have been so much more. I mean, keeping it vague, he has this friend in the movie and then he and this friends, they seem pretty close. And they have a falling out and he says something like, I defended you when people were besmirching your name. I wanted to be like, anyone in this theater who saw that happen, could you raise your hand? All right, so it's not just me. That legitimately did not happen on screen. It's a classic case of the movie telling you something happened without showing you that thing happened, which means it doesn't really stick the landing, emotionally speaking. I wouldn't doubt it. It would not surprise me if I found out later there's some three hour cut of this film out there somewhere. And I feel like this film's gonna run into problems with audiences with one of two scenarios. You're in one of two camps. One, you are skilled and versed. You're a scholar into the life of Joseph Ballon. In which case you're gonna watch this film and be like, well, that was a bare bones could have, should have been more version of that person's life. Or two, and this is where I ran into it, I walked out of the movie being like, that was perfectly enjoyable. It was a perfectly enjoyable biopic, absolutely. Then I was interested enough to look into the life further, which is really what a biopic should leave you with. But man, this is a rare case of the real life story being far more interesting than this movie was. Yeah, aside from violin, riding, dancing, swimming, skating, fencing, movie touches on two of those things, including violin. And some of it was traded out for the sake of entertainment, but also not historically accurate. For example, the way this movie starts out is, is him having a dueling violin showdown with Mozart. For the film's entertainment purposes, it was absolutely entertaining and pretty awesome. And I know why they did it, because people have taken to calling Joseph Ballone Black Mozart, which severely undercuts him and his skills and all that he did. So it's like, all right, have him whip Mozart's ass. There you go. But historically, not only did these two cross paths, but they lived under the same roof at a point. In fact, historians have taken some of Mozart's music and lined it up with Joseph Ballone's and they're like, I'm pretty sure Mozart stole that. That to me is more interesting. But yeah, you can have him just dueling violins at the beginning and sure. Also, the dude fought in war. That's a huge part of his life, but we just kind of get that in the text at the end. I hope this movie is successful in that gauging audience interest kind of way so we can hopefully get that HBO miniseries that this life absolutely lends itself to. This was an interesting glimpse into a very fascinating life, but it feels like that, a glimpse. If you can imagine viewing a beautiful landscape through a keyhole. That's what this movie feels like. But for a casual viewing experience, it's perfectly enjoyable. I'm gonna say it's a good time, no alcohol required. Caveat, at matinee price. All right, so Chevalier, have you seen it? What did you think about it? Or what's your favorite historical biopic? Whatever it is, whatever you think, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you wanna see more, click right here to see more.